go introduce everybody. This is Miss Edith Dukes Conyers, Dontavius, say your last name. Conyers. Okay, and Miss Lucille, that's his aunt, Conyers. Has everybody got those? We're on you. To begin with, I would like to thank everyone for being here today. I would like to thank uh, my coaches, Coach Bradley, Coach Miles, Coach John, and Coach Bray. All uh, of you have had an impact on my football career and have helped put me in this position today. To Alabama and Coach Brown, Clemson, and Coach Brooks, North Carolina, and Coach Pittman, and South Carolina, and Coach Beamer. Thank you for recruiting me and giving me the opportunity to do and experience all aspects of your tremendous program. I wish I could divide myself into four pieces and play for every school. Most important, I would like to say thank you to my mother for always being there for me no matter what. The most important factor in my decision was where I would be comfortable and what environment felt like the family environment here at Manor High School. I, always, I also want to go to a program where I would had the chance to be a part of something special. So with that, I would like to say hello to my new family, the South Carolina Game Talk. Yes, sir. Yeah. win the SEC East, and uh, they beat some pretty good teams in the SEC and in the country. Did that factor into your decision to, to go to USC? Uh, yes, sir. They can turn things around. What about the fact that uh, Carolina, they've been signing some high-profile recruits out of the state in the past couple of years. Uh, they've gotten some good um, commitments already. Did that factor into it? Like a, a lot of South Carolina guys are deciding to stay closer to home. Uh, yes, sir. Um, play with most of them boys in the Shrine Bowl. See what they got, but I got a chance to be in the player too. So. Along those same lines, um, when you talk to guys at other schools that are high profile recruits, kind of like what Rick said, a lot more in state guys are starting to come to South Carolina. Are you guys almost starting to feel, obligated is a bad word, but are you guys almost starting to feel like we got to start looking at our in state school or is it just coincidence? Or? Uh, no, I'll look the SEC Championship. And uh, did you come down to the decision last night, this morning? Uh, no, I've been at it for the longest, but I just didn't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what role did uh, Sean Carson and Jarrell Adams, uh, you, you being close to those guys, what role did that play? Well, uh, I played Sean Carson since my freshman year, I think. Um, Jarrell, I know him for a while too. So, started over to be a family again. Did you sway uh, Jarrell the last couple weeks? No, we just talked about it. Talked about it. Big relief to get this behind you now. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Philip, will you put any word into another? Defensive lineman up in uh, Rock Hill who may be thinking about what he wants to <laughs> what he wants to do. Uh, I don't know what he got planned. How'd you like to? Uh, would you, Would you like to be alongside him yes, in that sir. South Carolina defensive line one day? Yes, sir. Are you pretty excited to play under Coach Johnson? I mean, you've seen how well this defense has done the last couple of years, and it's uh, definitely contributed to the to USC's success here. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's not going to say much. <laughs> Philip, can you talk a little bit about Shane Beamer and the relationship you have with him and how he helped you through this process? Uh, he a good coach, a good guy to look up to. Um, He's been there for me a lot. What about Brad Long? Uh, every time I used to go to the game, you know, I used to be with Brad Long most of the time, being around the play at the defensive line. Um, you know that he's a great coach, worth his players. I want the best best players. And then what was their reaction when you told them I'm going to be a Gamecock? Uh, they couldn't believe it. Most of them were seeking. 
Yeah. Did you tell Steve Spurrier? Yes, sir. What he said? No, he can't believe it either. He's everybody shoes. <laughs> All right, yeah. Phil, what's your goal for your first year there? Is it just to uh, get some playing time or maybe to see if you can break it to the starting lineup? I do my best, hope to start, but just try to work my own fitting. What are you most looking forward to? You looking forward to hitting somebody? Or are you just looking forward to? What are, you, what are you looking forward to about college life and being a game cop? Uh, um, hitting somebody, really. <laughs> <laughs> but again, most of my goals are accomplished. Ladies, are you glad this whole process is over? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them out of everything, what was what was the reason for your final decision? What was the number one reason why you chose South Carolina over everyone else? Uh, the, group, the coaching staff, the great coaching staff, most of the players, the fans, being around the guys, made me feel like I want to do I'm part of the family now. Hey, Philip, for um, fans who may not be familiar with you and your style of play, uh, tell them what they're going to see from you out on the field, what can they expect from Philip Dudes. Uh, hard working player, go hard, doing my job.